yeah, I came from only the first version. That's, uh, yeah, you can feel the improvement. The other thing is we have added a little bit more rubber. The reason that we wanted to do that is because again this is a shoe that we want to be able to have that you can run lots of miles in. So as you continue to put in 100 miles, 200, 300 miles, by including a little bit more rubber you're improving traction as well as durability. That does come with a little bit of an offset in terms of how, how flexible it is. Okay. Yeah. Run by the list, lower, wait. <laughs> A, a feel for it, but um, you couldn't straight away feel just walking around in them. The, the, the cushioning is there, right? The stability is there. But then when you want to, to get up onto your toes uh, and to go a little bit quicker, I feel like the, the responsiveness it, it is also there. So I think it's a great, it's a great all-around show shoe. Whether you're a, a high-level athlete who's just using it as a, as a recovery for easy runs, or whether you're going away for the weekend like I am now, and it's just one shoe you're going to throw in your bag because you've only got space for one shoe, then that would be the one. Run maybe once or twice a week who want to get faster, just maybe want to do more running. But actually, sometimes within the same time frame that you've been running, you could run a little bit less but add some intensity. So I think adding some intervals or far leg into your run, adding some pickups to break up the run into shorter sections where you run a bit quicker, more closer towards potentially a 5 and 10k race pace target that you have in mind is a really good way of like, utilising the time that you have, not having to extend the training that you're doing, but getting that little bit fitter and breaking up the training because a lot of people might just do the same week in, week out, but actually varying the training that you do really helps. Well, that, that can even be on hills as well. It doesn't have to just be like flat intervals, it could be hills, or it could be shorter, faster, like tempo type runs. That's a great shoe, yeah. I came from only the first version. That's uh, yeah, you can feel the improvement. I think for me it's much better lockdown, um, much better fit around my feet, uh, better grip as well, so it's nice in this weather. I think they've added more rubber. Uh, onto the sole. So yeah, I think for me, as someone that pronates, the first version was not stable enough for me. So yeah, great improvement. I think yeah, well I think as mentioned yesterday at the event, it's just like a millimetre I think at the front and the back, but I think it makes the shoe a bit stiffer. So the previous versions were able to like completely bend the shoe, but this one it's much more rigid, so I think that makes a difference. And for those easy runs, it's great comfort, but it's also a versatile shoe, so if you want to pick up the pace towards the end, then yeah, definitely recommend it. Second of February. All right, watch this place, guys. See you later. On.
kind of crazy.